Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the I Rate Your Squad series. As you see, this tweet was only put out an hour ago, but already 22 of you absolute heroes have applied your squad. And we've got 10 to go through here today, including some absolutely ridiculous squads, which you will see throughout this video. If you are new around here, guys, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily streams and the daily videos. And, of course, mass shout out to the goats of the channel. We've got Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Callum, Caleb, Aiden, Dubs, Andrew, Josh, and the new member for today, Milfshake. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Really does mean so damn much. Uh, but, yeah, we're back at it again with another I Rate Your Squad episode. Hello? Why has that quality gone so bad? Okay, well, it looks like we're looking at that one in small. So first up, we've got Max, who says, got the amount that it says, which is 640,000 MT. We'll get Rafe Alston to replace Eric Gordon once he drops, which is going to be in two weeks' time because we had new spotlights drop today. If you guys didn't know, Adrian Dantley is now available in-game. Blake will replace Bob Lanier as well. Dial Worthy and Giannis are badged out. So we've got the Otis Birdsong from Limited. So shout out to you for that one because that's not an easy card to get. Michael Cooper, Clay Thompson, Giannis, George Mikan off the bench, John Stockton, Eric Gordon, James Worthy, Boris Dial, and Bob Lanier. Very, very solid squad. I would say even in the meantime, you can still replace Eric Gordon and I would say bring in Amethyst Jimmy Butler. John Stockton already in there at the point guard position is absolutely fine, so you don't really need to replace him. But Eric Gordon, I would say... It could definitely do a little bit of something to him. James Worthy's fine. I probably would sell him because I think he is quite expensive. And I imagine it's going to be even more expensive being badged out. I always think that at this point in the game, having pink diamonds that are really, really valuable isn't the best way to have your MT tied up. But you've got 600k, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that is a very, very good team. I'm very, very impressed with the first squad of the day. We'll give that one a... Oh, I've got to try and be consistent today because there's some mad teams. We'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have got one of the aforementioned ridiculous squads. Uh, we have got Eric, one of the goats, and he says, No money spent. I can get every pink diamond token reward, but waiting for the new drop, which of course is coming when season 3 drops. On pace for Jalen Brown and Blake. I have a lot of MT tied up in making Jalen and Blake OP. Eric has got over 100,000 XP, level 37, 2,000 tokens, 360,000 MT, and I know he's got so much MT and badges that he's saving up for that Blake and that Jalen Brown. So in terms of his main squad, we've got Pink Diamond Steph Curry, Pink Diamond Otis Birdsong, Galaxy Opal Elgin Baylor. Now, if you want to see video uh, of gameplay with this card... Eric, let me on his count. I did get gameplay with this Elgin Baylor, so check that out on the channel. We've got the Diamond Bill Russell, Pink Diamond George Mikan off the bench, Pink Diamond Tiny Nate, fully devoted up, of course. And with this Donovan Mitchell, Pink Diamond Neek, Diamond Kawhi, Pink Diamond Evoed up Artist Gilmore, and then Pink Diamond Manu, Diamond Victoria Depot, Diamond Daryl Griffith. And I think he's going to be collecting for the Idol set, which I think is why Manu is there ridiculous squad personally i would say you don't bother going for the idol set i don't think the first one is going to be too crazy uh if you think back to last year the first set for the what was it called last year prime uh, the first prime set was ray allen and that wasn't really the best card even when it first came out it wasn't the best card so i would be tentative about collecting idols cards um i think it's about 100k in manu maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more depending on the time of day but yeah, I wouldn't have him and Neek as well. Um, I don't think it's worth having both of those cards. But the rest of the team is mad. A lot of reward cards here. The only cards that aren't reward down here. Donovan Mitchell and Kawhi. And they're both insane. And not too expensive either. So Eric, ridiculous team. Absolutely insane. We'll give that one a 9 out of 10. Mad. Next up, we have got Ethan who says, Nobody spent Desmond is for challenges. Any suggestions on every position is fine. Thanks. Let's have a look. So, Pink Diamond Steph Curry. Shout out to you. Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady. Oh my God, I didn't even clock him in there. Oh my days. Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady. Uh, we've got Joe Ingles, Jaron Jackson Jr., Carl Anthony Towns. He's got nearly a million MT in the bank. Off the bench, we've got Trey Young, Des Mason, Brian Scalabrini, Thel Bailey, and Bill Russell. So... Obvious uh, positions that need a little bit of work. We've got Joe Ingles and Jaron Jackson Jr. Um, so much empty in that Tracy McGrady card, but GG, that is a fantastic card. Uh, so I am going to say, and Scalabrini as well probably needs upgrading, and Trey Young as well. So let's let's do a little bit of a revamp out here. So Trey Young, get rid of him, bring in 
Amethyst Donovan Mitchell, because that Donovan Mitchell card is so good. Get rid of Joe Ingles, bring in Amethyst uh, Jimmy Butler, and then have Jimmy at either the two or the three and T-Mac at the other position. Doesn't really matter. You can interchange those. That's not really a problem. Um, at the power forward position, someone like a Boris Diaw is not too expensive and it is still pretty damn good. Um, or a Bailey Howell. One of those two guys can come in and they'll be absolutely fine. Um, there's Mason you say he's in there for challenges. That's Obviously, that's absolutely fine. Cat is still really nice. Obviously, defensively, not the most incredible card in the world, but the offense you get from him is just ridiculous. And the backup small forward, instead of Scalabrini, you could maybe move Thel Bailey to the three and then have Dino Raja at the four. I know Dino's not got the three ball like he did last year, but he is still a very intimidating presence out on the floor with that 7-11 wingspan that he's got. So a couple of changes can be made there. Hopefully that helps you out in a few of those, but still really, really good team. And that pink diamond Trace McGrady, I'm jealous. Uh, overall, we're going to have to dock it down a little bit just because there's a Trey Young and a couple of Rubies. Um, but Trace McGrady alone, we'll give that one a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have got Jason with another ridiculous team. Uh, finally ready to be rated. Worthy will be coming out soon. Should have about 500k to play with. Bill Russell down there in case I need an extra defense. Like to run fast and have a lot of shooters. So 400k in the bank, 500 tokens in the bank as well. Pink Diamond Steph, Otis Birdsong, Jimmy Butler, James Worthy, George Mike, and off the bench, Donovan Mitchell, Mike Miller from Triple There Online, GG, Lou Hudson, Sharif from Triple There Offline, and Bill Russell as well. Very very nice team. Yes, I would also agree that selling James Worthy is a, probably the smart play right here. You've got a lot of offline cards, or not just offline cards, but reward cards in general. Uh, and I would say there's not really that much need to have so much MT in a James Worthy card. If you want to have a stretch option at the four, you could go with a Diamond Kevin Love. I don't know what his price is right now. If he's too expensive, then don't go for him. But a Kevin Love with that Hall of Fame... Nope, with that gold range extender. I've just remembered he's got gold range. Uh, or obviously if you want the more defensive approach and you've got that Ruby Dino Raja, who's not too expensive and will do a very, very good job there. Um, other than that, it's a really solid squad, to be fair. I'm jealous of this Mike Miller. I know this card is really good. Uh, and same with Otis Birdsong. Heard really good things about that. But uh, you had to play a lot of games to get in. So fair play on that one, bro. So I'm, a good, I'm sorry. Eric's team is going to get a higher rating. I think we gave Eric's a 9. I think I can't actually remember, but we'll give yours an 8.5. Still a very, very good team, Jason. Next up, Adam Ola. Stephen Jackson has silver range, clamps, quick first step, and a diamond ball handle to shoot. Damn, Stephen Jackson kitted out. I'm about 40k, and I'm looking to upgrade my backup one to three. Love your vids and streams. Thanks so much, Adam Ola. So, backup one to three, we've got Tiny Nate, Brian Winters, and Dave DeBusher. So, I think we should be able to afford Donovan Mitchell at the one. I think we could quite comfortably afford him. And then I think you can also afford Jimmy Butler. And I think you could probably only afford both of those. It might be a little bit more than 40k, maybe like 45 to 50k. But you can get both of those in, and both of those cards are so, so good. Definitely recommend selling, uh, saving up for them. Um, and then if you've got Steven Jackson here and he's that badged out, you're probably going to use him the majority of the game. So I wouldn't be too fussed about upgrading Dave DeBusher, to be honest. But Pink Diamond, Steph, and Bob Lanier. Boris Diaw, a fantastic card. Um, I didn't clock how ugly this card art is, by the way. I don't know about you guys, but that flash card art, that, that don't hit right. That's that's not a pretty thing. Uh, but yeah, nice team out of Mola. We'll give that one a 7.5 out of 10. Next up, we have got Antoine, who says, I'm looking for a backup 3 and a 5. They both just in to complete challenges for Blake. Uh, I have 200,000 MT in my auction. So you're on level 34, same as me. Snap. Uh, we've got John Wall. Wow. Clay Thompson, Dominique, Giannis, Glitch, Tim, Duncan. Damn. Darren Williams, Michael Cooper, Jimmy Butler, Josh Smith. Ah, my boy locked in for Josh Smith. And Amare as well. And he's looking for a backup three and five. So Jimmy Butler and Amare. And personally, I really, really like this Amare my card. Yeah, he is on the expensive side. So I'd probably say don't have a lot of MT in him. I mean, but saying that, you've got John Wall here who's... One of the most expensive cards in the game. So based off of that, I'd probably say sell John Wall just because he is unbelievably expensive. Um, you can even start Darren Williams. He's going to be absolutely fine. And then bring in uh, Donovan Mitchell, as I've been suggesting to people, because that card is fantastic. Um, or there's other cheaper uh, point guards out there, like a John Stockton. Diamond Glitch John Stockton can also come in. I just think 300k that John Wall is, is just a little bit too much for this point in the game. Um, and the backup five, if you really don't want Amare, then you've got stretch options in a big Z. You've got defensive options in the new Wilt. 
Um, there's quite a few different cards out there, depending on if you want defense or offense. But you've got the glitch Tim Duncan, and I imagine he plays the majority of the game. I would also... I would, I would want to start Josh Smith, but obviously if you start him at the small forward position, then uh, you're kind of screwed on a backup power forward. So uh, I guess you've got a nice lineup in terms of having the players in the right positions. But yeah, this Josh Smith card, very, very jealous. Heard very, very good things about him. Uh, ridiculously good squad. It looks like another person is going for this idol set. You've got Dominique and Manu. Again, I would advise against that because thinking back to last year, the first cards from an idol set... If the next couple of cards are Galaxy Opals, you best believe these pink diamonds are going to come down in price. So I just don't think they're worth investing in personally. I would not have my MT in them. But of course, it is completely up to you. But great squad. We'll give that one a 9 out of 10. That's a fantastically built squad. So shout out to you, bro. Next up, we have got Nick, who says, upgraded the center position from the last vid. Going to replace Magic with Diamond. Rafe when he comes out, budget is 40,000 MT. So we have got the Magic Johnson and James Worthy dynamic duo for the Galaxy Opal. James Worthy looking very, very smart. Uh, Clay Thompson, Libroon, uh, KP at the center position. Off the bench, Chauncey Billups, Michael Cooper, Jimmy Buckets, Boris Diaw, and Bill Russell as well. I haven't really heard much about this Chauncey Billups card, so I don't actually know how good he is. Uh, but fair play for getting him. I guess I could suggest a different point guard, but I, like I said, I don't know how good he is. Um, I don't know if there's much you can do with this squad for 40k. I'm not going to lie, this is a fantastic team. Maybe upgrade Boris Diaw, maybe sell him, and then put the rest of that money together and get yourself an Amare for a more dominant, dominating presence at that powerful position. Because I don't think Amare's too much below 100k or too close to 100k i know he's definitely under 100k i know he's a buyout so yeah maybe pick up an amare for the forge for a bit more height um at that powerful position and amare still gives you plenty of offense uh in terms of his three ball as well but again a ridiculously good team with a galaxy opal in it you love to see it uh we'll give that one an 8.5 out of 10 because it's very strong like i said when you get magic johnson out of there it'll be a little bit better as well. Uh, next up, we've got same day. I have 7,352 MT to be specific. Waiting on Darren Williams to sell. That'll be about 50k. I want to upgrade my backup point guard. So Gilbert Arenas, lovely card. Michael Cooper, Chuck Person, Bob Love, Cat, Trey Young, Daryl Griffith, Campy Russell, Antonio McDice, and Al Horford. So a lot of reward players out here. A lot of tokens have been spent. Trey Young, yep, definitely really bad card. Got to go. Um, I would say, yes, you know who I'm going to suggest. It's going to be Donovan Mitchell. Not Don if not Donovan Mitchell, then Sleepy Floyd, um, who's also a fantastic card there. But Donovan, when he came out, he's just been so good, and I can't not recommend him. And I think Darren Williams and John Stockton are over 50k. I'm fairly sure John Stockton will be quite a bit over. I don't know about Darren Williams, to be fair, but if he is in that price range, then go for it. But I know Donovan Mitchell's like 20k because he's only just come out. So definitely pick him up, and he will see you set. Solid team, 7 out of 10. No, uh, last? No, second to last, we have got Anthony, currently grinding for Blake. Oh my days, yes he is. 97,000 XP! Over 1,000 tokens! Damn! Uh, no spent on everything I can do XP-wise. Both Jackson and Scott have good range. I assume he means gold range. Gold range, clamps, and quick first step. My goodness, that's insane. I don't like my bench all too much. Mainly my 2 and my 3. I have around 720k and 1,300 tokens. Mad! Pink Diamond Steph, George Mike and Bob Lanier, Otis Birdsong, then we've got the Ruby guys and a couple of Ruby guys off the bench. So Paul Pressey and Reggie Williams, yes, definitely can be upgraded. So back up shooting guard, get yourself Michael Cooper, Amethyst card, insane Hall of Fame clamps, you already know how good he is. And then the back up three, get yourself Amethyst, Jimmy Butler, same situation, so good defensively, but brilliant offensively as well. So Jimmy Butler and Michael Cooper, huge upgrades to both positions and not too expensive either, which is key. Great team, though. Love the pink diamonds. These guys are badged out, which I probably wouldn't... I hope you bought them like that. I hope you didn't do it yourself, because that would have cost a lot of MT. Um, but yeah, still a very nice score. We'll give that one an 8 out of 10. Maybe an 8.5 out of 10. But anyway, last but not least, we've got Noah. Hey, JD. Love your streams and videos. Thank you so much, Noah. About 90k MT, and I'm level 36 now, and I have Ray Allen. So after I sell him, I have 250 to 300k, and I'm also grinding challenges and DOM. So... Another person with the two idols players, and again, I'm going to say it, I don't think it's worth it. I would say sell these guys now while they're still uh, retaining their value, because I do think it's going to start plummeting down. Think about it, when the fifth idols player is released in however many weeks, do you think that card's going to be a pink diamond? Let me tell you, it's not going to be a pink diamond, I'll be shocked if it is. 
Um, and obviously, if there's better cards in the set, the worst cards in the set, they'll be the cheapest. And these cards, because they're released first, will just naturally be the worst. Uh, we've got pink up a step. We've got pink up Paul Pierce. Hello. I didn't even see you there. Uh, my guy's rocking the Donovan Mitchell and the Jimmy Butler. you love to see it. Two cards I've been recommending pretty much all video. Uh, Pat Ewing, Chuck Person. So what do we want to improve in this squad? It's very, very solid, to be fair. And obviously, Patrick Ewing from this season. Oh, my days. That is a lot of unlimited you've played. So fair play. Um, I guess the backup power forward, Chuck Person, you can maybe improve him a little bit. But I know he's a very solid card. I don't have him, but I know he's very good. Um, but I think they could be a little bit better than him. Um, at the centre position, you've got Cat. Again, defensively, might not be the best card in the world, but you've got Patrick. You've got Bob Lanier down here as well. Like, Jesus, that is a really well-built squad. And I'm not going to lie, I don't even know what I could suggest to upgrade on that without spending, like, ludicrous amounts of MT, because obviously a lot of these cards are um, reward cards anyway. So, you know what? We're just going to call that one there and say that's a very nice squad. We'll give that one a 9 out of 10. And that is going to do it, guys, for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you so much to anybody and everybody who has submitted their squads. And if there's enough people, we'll do another episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.